Welcome, Ninth Baptist Church and our online friends to another broadcast of this week's Midweek Message, a 20-minute broadcast where we focus in on the Sunday School lesson for the coming Sunday. And uh, we have a great teacher again uh, this week, uh, Deacon Triple Smith, who, uh, who is our Sunday School Superintendent who will come and present this lesson from the book of Proverbs. And we know that Proverbs often talks about wisdom and uh, wisdom is so critical today. It's, uh, it's not how many degrees you have, but it's how you use the knowledge that you have. And uh, Deacon uh, Superintendent Smith will expound upon that lesson uh, in just a moment. So thank you so much for joining us. Please continue to join us every uh, Thursday at six o'clock uh, to hear what the Lord has to say. Greetings in the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus. We welcome you to another midweek service. Before we get into our lesson, let us, let us have a word of prayer first, please. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed day and this blessed hour. We praise you, dear Lord, that this lesson on tonight will touch somebody's heart, will stir up somebody's spirit, will give somebody wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it will also enlighten them, dear Lord, as they grow in spiritual truth. In Jesus' mighty name, we praise you, we thank you, and we love you dearly. Amen. Excuse me. Good evening to all of my brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Ninth Baptist Church family, and to all of my online guests. We have a great and wonderful lesson for you on tonight. Our lesson comes from the book of Proverbs, and it, it is entitled, Listen Up. Listen up, America. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the author of the book of Proverbs is no stranger to us. This brother was given a blank check before taking over as king. He couldn't have asked for anything he wanted, but all he asked God for was wisdom and an understanding heart to lead thy people. This brother by the name of Solomon was considered one of the wisest men in all the earth. So God had granted Solomon Solomon's request, and also promise him riches and honor if he would walk in the steps of his father. My brothers and sisters, Solomon's Proverbs and his songs of Solomon demonstrate his deep, deep knowledge of the natural world, plants, animals, he also had a profound knowledge of human nature as demonstrated by the two women who claimed the same child. His suggestion was that the child to be cut or divided in half between the two. This, of course, my brothers and sisters, was a masterful wisdom strategy for finding out who the real mother was. So Solomon's fame as a man of wisdom spread it to all of the surrounding lands. Kings and leaders came from afar just to hear him speak. There was also those who came to test his wisdom. Those like the Queen of Sheba, 
but he answered all of her questions with ease. This is why he was known as the wisest of the wise throughout the ancient world, because his wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the men of the East and all the wisdom of Egypt. My brothers and sisters, this book of Proverbs is one of the wisdom books of the Old Testament. It contains instruction on many practical matters of daily life. These Proverbs or sayings are designed to help us as believers to live a holy and righteous life. My brothers and sisters, Proverbs defines wisdom, explain how to find it, and describes the benefit of living by it. So as you can see, Solomon called those listening to his words to take them to heart. In other words, Listen up, America. Excuse me, because God is speaking loud and clear. My brothers and sisters, in verse one of our lesson, Solomon plainly identifies himself as the writer of the book. In verses two and three, he differentiates between knowledge and wisdom. You see, my brothers and sisters, wisdom is not simply book learning. Instead, it is what we learn from living out our life experiencing. You see, church, Solomon was not writing just to make people smart. His goal was for his listeners to gain instruction to lead righteous lives according to God's command. The climatic part of our lesson is in verse 7, where it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It goes on to say, but fools despise wisdom and instruction the fear of the lord brings with it many blessings and many benefits god does not want us to be afraid or scared of him he wants us to respect him honor him and reverence him having godly wisdom leads to a better understanding of who god is and what he can do. So brothers and sisters, godly wisdom is not based upon book learning, but upon a foundation of reverence of God. In other words, church, we ought to get our burning before we get our learning. King Solomon personifies wisdom. As a person, he calls her Lady Wisdom. Lady Wisdom took to the streets of the city. She cries out and raises her voice. She invites and encourages everyone to accept her. She compares God's wisdom to that of a search for the richest treasures. My brothers and sisters, only a fool, and that word in our lesson, that word fool means that you are unmature, unlearned, unaware, undecided, unjust, unholy and unskillful in the word of righteousness. 
you have no understanding of why you were created. But Solomon tells us, as the pastor told us one Sunday, he says, we ought to remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. He goes on to say that after looking and searching, he says, this, this, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. He says, fear God and keep his commandments. He said, because this is the whole duty of man. So America, please listen up because God is speaking loud and clear. We have drifted, we have deviated, and we just flat out deny that God exists. We do what we want, when we want. We act as though there's no God. Brother Eve, I call him Dr. Eve, he says that in the Pledge of, of Allegiance, we say under God, but we put all our laws above God. God is not playing. God is speaking right now loud and clear. In America, you need to get your business straight with God because he's coming but he's coming back for our church without a wrinkle or spot. So please listen up because God is talking loud and clear. Amen. We thank you for listening in. We hope we've helped you in some kind of way. We hope we gave you some understanding and enlightened you. We also thank you for listening to us on tonight. Because we have to give you some soul food. Amen. Thank you. Praise you. Love you dearly. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, Thank you, uh, Brother Superintendent, for expounding on yes. uh, this great lesson that uh, we have for uh, this coming uh, Sunday, June 7th. And uh, we thank God for uh, the wisdom that you shared with us on today, on this evening. And uh, we know that wisdom is not something that you can buy with money. It's not something that you can learn in school. Uh, wisdom, if it's godly wisdom, if it's the, the best wisdom that is available, which comes from God, uh, you've you got to get it from him. There's no other way around it. And we know that Solomon got that wisdom from God Almighty. As the teacher said, he could have asked for anything. Uh, as, as our former pastor, our late pastor would say, God gave him a blank check. And Solomon could ask for anything he wanted in the world and he asked for wisdom uh what a what a great request yes how many how many people would make a mistake and ask for money mm -hmm. or other things that would mm -hmm. end up uh leading to misery but that's not what uh solomon did he asked that's for right. wisdom and thank god for that request and what an example to all of us yeah. at this time we're gonna uh move into our period of giving we're gonna give you a few moments to share. I'm going to encourage you to, to give as unto the Lord. God loves a cheerful giver. Yes. And we ask that you would share in this offering as we've said to you on, on occasions. Other occasions, the, uh, the offering for uh, the midweek message that we receive will be uh, added to the report card fund and to our scholarship fund where we, uh, we recognize the wonderful young people of the Ninth Baptist Church for having a, a 3.0 uh, GPA on there. A report card and we don't wait just to the end of the year to do it we do it uh, at the end of each grading period so uh, typically they either have four or six grading periods uh, lately around here uh, we have four so we recognize our students 
And then also uh, those students who graduate from high school, we recognize them and give them something memorable as well as those who graduate from college. So we'll give you a moment to, uh, to, to, to give by way of Givelify. Uh, you can use the Cash App uh, or you can deliver your offering uh, to the church. One of the brothers uh, will be there to receive it. And we want to uh, encourage you to continue to tune in uh, each Thursday at six o'clock and hear a powerful uh, power pack message. Uh, typically our teachers are uh, our superintendent who taught tonight, Superintendent Triple Smith and uh, our, uh, our deacon uh, Eves Wilson uh, also will come forward with a power pack message. So uh, thank, I thank God for these uh, brothers and how they let the Lord uh, use them in a mighty way. Also, we want to invite you to uh, join us every Sunday at uh, 1045. Uh, every Sunday at 1045. Now, I don't know what the weather's going to be like uh, this coming Sunday. We know that there is a storm brewing in the Gulf of Mexico, but I do know that God is able and that we will uh, push forward the word of God uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we asking, we're asking that you tune in uh, to the word of God, even if it might not be at your regular time and that you would be prepared to do that, which is right. And those things that you ordinarily would do, uh, please stay safe. Uh, make sure that you continue to wash your hands, uh, wear a mask uh, when you are interacting with others. Remember the mask not only protects uh, you, but it also protects the person that you might be interacting with. Uh, continue to uh, uh, to stay six feet apart, uh, at least six feet apart, as has been uh, recommended. And all of those things that, is, that have been shared with you over uh, the past several weeks. So I uh, just wanted to make uh, you aware of that. I want to say that I love you and may God bless you. And this will bring to an end our midweek message for this week. God bless you. God keep you is my prayers, my prayer. And I love you.